I said in a recent vlog that I wanted to talk about this uh, effect in Substance Painter. And what I've done is I've brought in my mesh for the walls. And I've got a smart material over here. I created the bricks and I saved it as a smart material. And we're basically going to go through creating that. So if I shut that off, this is basically just what I have. And let's come over here and see if we have anti-aliasing on. I'll just put that on. So the idea is you just take your mesh in and uh, you bake the mesh maps. And that's it. All right, I'm at 1024, so we'll leave it at that. And we'll get started on this. Shouldn't be too difficult. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to come over here in my materials and I'm going to search for concrete. And I'm going to use this concrete simple. I'm just going to drag that in. You can use whatever you want and put that on as a sort of base layer. All right, so now we're going to work on the bricks themselves. So I'm going to create a fill layer. And I'm going to choose a color. I'm just going to kind of go down there and see what that's like. And I'll drag the roughness up. And the height I'm going to bring, I'll bring it all the way up to one. I really don't need metallic. I don't need normal, but I'll leave that there in case something else. I don't know. Okay, anyways, uh, this is I'm going to call this bricks. And so we have our sort of base color, which we could change. I'm going to add a black mask, and then I'm going to add a fill. And in that fill, I'm going to come over here to the grayscale. And here, I'm going to use, I'm going to want to use the brick generator. Yes. Okay, so brick generator. Now, you can use a tile generator, and things will be just a little bit different. You can actually do some masking in the tile generator, which would be similar to this, but you couldn't. There is no masking in the brick generator itself. So I'm going to put that on. I'm going to choose triplanar, and let's drag my hardness up, and my scale. Let me just see. I'm just going to refer to some notes here for the big generator. I'm going to leave my scale alone. I'm just going to come down here and play with the histogram position. I'm going to pull that. That's going to bring them essentially closer. So I'll go for maybe 0 0.93 or so, and my contrast. You can play with that as well. I'll go for around 0 0.5 or so. Okay, so now over to the pattern. This is where I'm going to define my bricks, the number of bricks that I have. Uh, the way that I wanted this was uh, I'm going to go for around 23 here, and I'm going to go for 64 here. All right, now it looks kind of weird, so just hang on. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, okay, so bevel. We are going to bevel. I got 0 0.5, 0 0.5, that's fine. Smoothness, I'm going to go for 0 0.45. And now we can start to see our bricks, and they're laying in the right orientation. All right? I wanted them kind of longish, uh, you know, on here. Uh, the offset is already there. You can, If we scroll down here, you can see it's already set at 0 0.5, so that they're sort of staggered. They're one here, and then one halfway in, and then here, and then halfway in. But I'm going to put an offset variation of 0 0.03 or so just to give it a little bit more variation so it's not quite as regular. Okay, so now that's the main stuff. Now we're going to make some adjustments here in just a bit. But before I do that, uh, I'm just going to come back out of here. There's the brick generator. I'm going to add a filter. And the filter I'm going to choose is the blur slope. And you can start to see what it does here. But I'm going to switch this blending mode to min. You can experiment with all the different ones. I'm going to switch the intensity divider to 100 so it's not as intense. And then let's see, for the intensity, let's use, I don't know. One is probably actually okay. You could try, try a lower number. I, I'm just going to drop it down to 0 0.5 for now. All right, so that's... That's it. Uh, you can experiment with all these, and you should, of course, do that. That'll just warp the bricks a little bit, which is what we want. And we can do another one. We can try adding a filter blur. Let's just see if that gives us almost a beveled kind of look. I'm going for, in this case, sort of a cartoony. This was for the Duke Nukem scene. And so you can decide if you like these effects. You can do that. Uh, you could try even a sharpen on top of that. I'm not sure if that would do anything good for us. You know, does that, and you can really accentuate. It just depends what kind of look you want to go for. But experiment with that. Uh, those are the main ones. I just want to show you one other cool effect before we go any further. And that is this high pass. I, I really do like this. 
Uh, just play with this if you're interested in that kind of a of a thing. It sort of flattens it out in the middle, and you find a spot where you, where it, you know it almost gives like a gradient, like it dips in. I am, a, however, not going to do that. All right, so we're going to go on and build some stuff up before I come back to these bricks. So I'm now going to add another fill layer, and this is going to be some spots or some damage or whatever. Uh, okay, so spots. And I'm going to make this, let's go for, let's try really dark. And let's uh, bring the height up a little bit and the roughness, let's bring quite a bit up. And uh, let's get rid of metal and normal. It's not going to look like that. Uh, I'm going to add a black mask and a fill. And in the grayscale of the fill, I'm going to reset that and I'm going to search for B and W for black and white spots two. All right, so this is what it's doing so far. Let's switch that over to triplanar. And let's also, let's see what we can do here. Uh, let's come down here to the noise parameters. Let's play with the scale maybe, disorder a little bit. And uh, let's see, balance. Let's see what we want to do. Okay, I'm going to come back and change this to sort of a, a reddish color here. I'm going to bump this up to 2K. We'll start to see some, some indentations in our bricks. I'm going to switch this here, uh, right here, I'm going to switch this to overlay. And let's bring this to, let's just reduce it. And drag the roughness down a little bit. All right, so you see that sort of dotty kind of look we're getting. Now we're getting sort of some lightness in the, uh, in the grout area. So I'll come back to my concrete and I'm just going to drop the color down just choose a color whether or not you think that looks realistic or not maybe it is a bit dark i don't know maybe it should be that dark so we'll see okay so here are my sort of plasticky bricks so let's get on with uh the effect so i'm going to come back to my bricks back to the brick generator here and the area i want to be looking at is this height stuff height min height max height balance and height uh, variation. All right, so I'm going to bring the height balance up to one. And I'm going to now mess around with the height balance, see if we can get something going on here. And the height min, let's see if I do that. Okay, let's play with the height balance. Okay, you can see them popping back in. So I'm going to bring that there, see so a little bit, it can be a little sensitive there. Now I'm starting to lose some bricks and get that underlying uh, grout kind of look. They're, they're looking a little plasticky, so you're welcome to come back up here. Try to play with the roughness here. Uh, you can also play with the roughness on here. Okay, so I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna leave it though. You can, you can mess with that. Okay, so uh, let's go back to here, brick generator. All right, so what I'm looking at playing with now that I've sort of got it set is this, this height balance. I should be able to, let me scroll out a bit. As I drag the height balance around, okay, it can start losing a different number, number of bricks. If I drag it all the way up, I should be back to where I was, and I start dragging it down. We start sort of like massing them out. All right, and then you can put whatever it is you want on the bottom here if you don't want this concrete simple or if you wanted to change. Like, I'll just do something extreme here, uh, you know, to get a different, you know, a different effect here. And we'll try also a different effect on the, the bricks themselves. Uh, let's make it let's sort of like lighter like, like a castle kind of look let's say those were gray there and let's say up here 
Let's say these spots were, let's see if I do them white, if I do them black, you know, you can get a, you can get a different look as well there. The main thing was being able to uh, get rid of uh, some of the bricks and that's what we've achieved that you just choose your, your brick color, whatever, whatever it is you want to do here. So we've managed to do that. And then of course, you know, in certain areas here it might look a little bit weird, but you put a window frame in there and I have garage doors down there and, and uh, whatever you want. But you know, uh, from here, you can, you can add all kinds of grunge on top of it. Uh, let's say, so for example, let's say I do another fill and let's say I use just color. Maybe I'll use a little bit of height. I'm not sure if I want to use height. Let's say I go for uh, this greenish kind of color here, and it's just a fill. I come over to my smart masks, and I type in moss, and I use maybe this one. I just drag it over. So now I get some something that's kind of like moss, you know, grunge, radioactive grunge in there. Now, the fact that it's on the corners, well, you know, maybe you, you gotta put a border of some sort there. So we've got, we've got that. So let's call that moss and let's do another one. We're gonna do dirt. I'll just use the dirt generator, drag the roughness up. Uh, make this like a dark brown and a black mask and a generator and just a dirt generator. It's gonna go mostly in there, drag it down a bit. So you get almost like that ambient occlusion. So we got that we could put in here. Let's do another layer, like a dusty kind of dirty layer. Let's let's go with uh, let's just go with something like that, and then add a black mask and a fill, and uh, in the grayscale, let's come over to grunges, let's say, and just try something here. Throw that in, mess around with it. Uh, you can rotate it. Let's see what triplanar would look like that and then say okay that's not bad so let's see what we can do with that if i do overlay so i like that eh, maybe we'll just do uh, maybe we'll just do normal and really knock down that so it's kind of you know discolored or of course you could try some of the other blending modes too hard light color dodge you know that gives you some color variation there I like that all right so you can do all of those things on top of your bricks now that we can get rid of some and final thing is um, I'll just call, I'll call this grunge you could take this brick layer here that you have your generator on and you could just duplicate it and that will accentuate accentuate the effects um, and you can make some changes I mean you can just change the color if you want uh, to something else um, maybe certain colors will show up the grunge uh, better the only thing you don't want to do if you duplicate it though is is come over to the generator itself and you know change any of the values you know because this determines how many bricks and kind of where they are so you don't you don't want to change these values or just it won't look right, but you can get a more stronger effect this way. All right, so I'm not sure that I would want them in that exact color, but that at least illustrates what I wanted to show you. And I have other uh, brick uh, videos coming out in a little bit, so I hope you'll check those out. Thanks for watching.